Iron Brew, which is a Scottish drink, did like a really good riff on Walking in the Air. They changed it all to be like Iron Brew centric. It's a drink. Um, and the advert's really good, so you should look it up. Iron Brew, Walking in the Air. Just do it. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam Scott Thorne and I am a vocal coach based in Glasgow. Now, if you'd like to meet and explore your voice a little more, you can find me on sstvocals.com. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and Patreon and I'll put the handles down below and over there. Over there. Minor scale. Now, if you'd like to consider becoming a patron, you have access to things like early release of reactions, you can fast track reactions, become a reaction, there's special roles on my Discord server, and you have access to my patron exclusive Vocal Anatomy 101 videos. So consider becoming a patron and help shape my channel. Now, one such fine person who has decided to fast track a reaction is Eco Warrior mm -hmm. Princess. I feel like that should be said with like massive amounts of reverb and echo, like Eco Warrior Princess. Why? I don't know why I did that. Anyway, Eco Warrior Princess has decided that they would like me to listen to Yarko Ahola and he is singing Walking in the Air. Now I think I have actually listened to Yarko once before when he was in Northern Kings with Marco from Nightwish. And between you, me and the post box and you know like the internet, Eco Warrior Princess reckons that Yarko might be in the running to be the replacement for Marco in Nightwish. So, do you think that's the case? Let me know in the comments and we can have a chat about it, huh? Anyway, let's just go. Oh, okay, I like this guy's voice. He has got such a strong high register. His vocal folds are thinning out up there, but they're still so, so strong. Like it sounds like a really chesty kind of voice. I suppose you could kind of class that as like a really heady mix. It's still really, really strong, um, but very, very light at the same time intense. I also love how seamlessly he transitioned into his lower register as well. Um, don't want to say too much, let's keep going and see what happens. I'm holding the very top. I'm riding in the midnight blue. I'm fighting I can fly so high above with you. Oh, so again, that power is just building up and building up. A lot of this sound feels like it's coming from kind of like a subglottic pressure, like behind the folds, and the resistance is making that sound even louder. One way to start playing about with that kind of resistance kind of element is to start really soft, like you're talking in a library, like, and then thicken up. You hear a little bit of grit actually came out there. <laughs> But you can hear that's the same note and I'm using thinner fold with less resistance to that air but then I'm thickening up and you get a lot more kind of projection and punch out of that sound. It just feels like he has got a ton of power waiting. Like I don't think we've seen half of it yet. Beautiful arrangement as well. Far across the world, the villages go by like dreams. The rivers and the hills, the forests and the streams. So, two things that really struck out there at me. One is that he has this like really thick nasal eye sound to kind of glide into tones. Like that. Everything has this real kind of slick push and pull to it. 
and then he'll open up onto that sound, onto the vowels. It just gives a really lovely movement to the sound. Second thing is that he loves tilting his thyroid cartilage. So that is where you get that sweetness of sound. If it was vertical, it'd be ah, it's tilted. Ah, ah. Hopefully you can hear the difference there. He is tilting like really hard and he's getting that lovely, lovely vibrato. It's so steady and it's so strong. He sounds very well trained, but I have been told by Eco Warrior Princess that apparently he's not trained, so he's just got a very, very good natural aptitude for tilting and making that lovely kind of operatic sound. Very good. The children gaze up and Right, that was amazing. <laughs> he is so good. So you'll see as that build up got more and more dramatic, his mouth got a lot more engaged. He was dropping that jaw and those ah kind of sounds. As a general rule of thumb, the bigger and resonant you want your vowels to be, the more open your mouth should be. I -e -o. If you keep it very, very closed, I -e -o, you get a much more closed off sound. So just for reference, here we go. Ah, it really does make the difference of opening that sound up and making it super operatic sounding. Another thing I noticed here is that his tongue was held nice and high. So at his back molars, the back of his tongue was sitting right up like this. And keeping your tongue up high will help to keep that larynx height stable. He is really, really good. We're surfing in the air. So I think the video is going a little bit out of sync with his um, singing. Mountains floating by. So I'm not sure whether this is like a pre-record or whether it's just because they're cutting stuff up, they've not uh, synced this properly, but I'll keep an eye on it. But here we're hearing a little bit more aspirate texture coming through here. That's where more air is passing through the folds and you get a breathier, mistier sound. He's only adding them in in tiny wee parts here and there, um, but it just shows that he can add this variety to his voice when and where he wants it. So now he's starting to add in texture there. It sounds like it's coming a little bit from his false vocal folds, which causes constriction if you were to squeeze really hard, but if you let go of it a little bit, you'll get a little bit of rattle out of it. Could also be a little bit of arotenoid rattle, which are the things that open and close your vocal folds. That's more of a kind of sound. You hear they're quite similar though. Generally though, he's probably just blasting more air through the larynx and he's creating this kind of chaos inside his voice box. It makes for a really interesting sound and he is utilizing it so, so well. As he's getting into that kind of lower area, you see he anchors up, 
he drops that larynx to create a lower, darker sound. And it just makes that sound so much richer and more velvety and kind of buttery. It's such, such a nice sound. So the low larynx and the anchors together create this real push. If you were to make a sound low larynx without anchoring it, it'd be uh, would be it kind of relaxed. I'll anchor on it now. Uh, you just get a lot more push out of that sound and it's just the big muscle groups coming in and supporting the little muscle groups of the larynx so they don't have to work as hard. Um, he is just, oh, so good. We're walking in the air. <laughs> And everyone who sees us greets us as we fly. <laughs> what? He just threw absolutely everything at us at once there. Oh my days. Okay, let's break it down super fast. There was high larynx stuff which creates a bright tone and he made that really aspirate. So it was like an aspirate thin fold sound. Not quite falsetto. Ah, up kind of in that kind of territory rather than oh, which is more of a falsetto. They're different sounds because the folds are behaving differently. More evidence of it being thin fold is because he was able to seamlessly drop into that kind of thicker fold place and he dropped into this really strong forward place sound. Then, oh, what else happened? Then he was just like up and down and up and down, almost like octave jumps, um, although I'd have to double check. He's got this kind of double voice thing going on that they do in the Philippines almost. It is. Really, really impressive. Oh, that was the end. <laughs> wow, that was incredible. Eco Warrior Princess. Thank you very much for fast tracking that. I know you've been waiting a hell of a long time for me to watch this because I have seen you in the comments asking for me to review him over and over and over and over again. So I'm glad we finally got that done. And I hope you enjoyed that reaction. If you did, please give it a like and a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more from me, hit subscribe, ring the bell, and anytime I have new content, you will be the first to know. Uh, so all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me. And how are we gonna buy this one? I actually have no idea. So I guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me and Please like my videos and say that you will hit my sub. Ah, I have no idea. <laughs> that was uh, just a few bits and pieces. Bye. -bye.